Hello, it's me again, Patricia Gaviria. If you are watching this video, it means that you decided to take this course, Soul Symbol Direct Access to the Universal Energy of Wellbeing. So the first thing I want to do is congratulate you. Do you know there is just a small percentage of people in the whole world that pay attention to their own transformation? Or are willing to get in touch with their own feelings and thoughts? Of course, many people don't do it because they just can't. Living or economic conditions, time availability, health. But the most common reason, believe it or not, is fear. Yes, people are so scared to face themselves. But if everybody would understand how useful it is to discover who we truly are, how many natural abilities we brought since the day we are born, I am sure more people will do it. Or at least they will try. So feel proud. Because you are putting the time and effort to explore ways to grow, to use your human potential, and to make your life easier to live. The Soul Symbol program will give you one of the many tools we all have to connect with the universal energy, which by the way is constantly available. But we have to use like a key to open that universal door. And you're going to create your own key, your own symbol or mark that will give you easier access to the source that offers the information and the raw material necessary for your body to be healthy, your mind clear, your emotions positive, and your spirit awake. The course is an artistic experience, but mostly it is an experience that will uplift your soul. So go ahead and enjoy it. So let's start with what is a symbol? Let's say in easy terms that a symbol is a simple design that represents a more complex or more profound meaning behind it. Symbols are formed by combining images, characters, words, marks or figures. Generally they are plain and simple designs easy to remember and catchy to the eyes. I am pretty sure you recognize some of these symbols. Now what do we see in the next image? Look at shapes, lines, forms, and what we exactly see. It is a person in a wheelchair. It's a simple image composed of one diamond shape that encloses some straight lines, one circle and one semicircle. But if we think a little more in what does the image represent? We may say it is a handicap sign representing everything related to people with disabilities. Now, if we see this symbol in front of a parking space, what might come to our mind? Maybe a few things. That, that space, that specific space is only for people with disabilities. The space is more accessible for people with incapacities. That to park in a handicapped space requires a special permit. Probably a memory comes to our mind when a police officer was giving a ticket to someone who parked in a handicapped space without a permit, bringing us the next idea that people without a permit will be subject to a parking ticket. So we see how that basic graphic brings a whole list of concepts behind it. 
ideas attached to it that show whatever the symbol is intended to represent. So I want you to try with another example. Look at the image carefully. What elements do you see? What shapes or figures? It is a woman sitting in a meditation position with a flower shape behind her. A symmetric balance and a very basic image. You probably don't know what this image means, but let's imagine that this symbol is hanging in the door of a studio. What will come to your mind? Think for a moment. Maybe that place is to teach yoga and meditation. Perhaps to your mind comes memories of a meditation and yoga class that you participated. And you remember people with sports outfits, yoga mats on the floor, maybe candles and oil burning. You remember the whole environment related to the class. Look again. And now pay attention in what do you feel? What sensations come to you? You probably sense calm and peace. Perhaps you remember the relaxing music used during the class and the good smells of those oils and candles burning. The graphic offers a feeling of tranquility. So again, we see how that basic symbol brings a whole list of ideas, memories, and even feelings behind it. It is a woman in meditation position, leaf-shaped figure, harmonic and symmetric, represents the spaces for meditation and yoga, invites to relax, brings memories, transmits tranquility, calm, and peace. So let's keep in mind that we could continue adding as many concepts as we want, which represent the graphic. It is up to us. Now to outline this part of the section, remember, just looking at a symbol, our conscious mind immediately knows the meaning expressed behind that image, deep in our subconscious. Okay, let's continue with elements of a symbol. The elements of a symbol are the shapes, lines, or figures that form the symbol. Usually every element of the symbol represents what one attribute, quality, characteristic, or concept related to the symbol. So let's see an example. Let's say we want to create a design that symbolizes Mother Nature. First, we have to choose three attributes or characteristics related to Mother Nature. One can be harmony and balance. <clears throat> Nature is full of different elements and everything work in coordination and perfection. So I think this attribute represents Mother Nature well. Another can be rhythm and movement. All elements in nature have cycles, the seasons, day and night, the process of birth, growing and death. Also in nature, everything moves. A different, a different speed, but even the tiniest particles vibrate. So this attribute sounds appropriate. Now the last one can be power and life. Without a doubt, nature is the scenario for life. It offers the spark of life and the raw material for every element to exist. So, 
Now we have already the three attributes. And now we have to choose one shape, form or figure that represents each attribute. So for harmony and balance, we are going to use a circle because circumferences represent wholeness, balance, balance and symmetry. So I think this will work. For rhythm and movement, we use a line with ups and downs, representing that movement, action, flow. And for power and life, we choose the sun, representing light and heat, and the most important source of energy for life on Earth. If we take the three shapes and play with them around, at the end, we get a simple, neat and catchy composition like this. It shows the wholeness of Mother Nature, the flowing and movement of mountains or water, and the life and energy generated by sunlight. Easy, right? To align this part of the section, remember, every element of a symbol tries to represent some part of the symbol's complete meaning. Okay, what is a soul symbol? To understand the meaning of soul symbol, first we have to define the word soul. In the context of this program, soul means the union of the three primary energy currents that give birth to our whole being, physical current, the mental current, and the spiritual current. Soul symbol is a self-designed graphic which not only represents our beliefs but also it works like a key to open the inner connection that our soul has with the biggest and highest universal energy of well-being. These are some examples of soul symbols. In simple words, we may say that Soul symbol is a personal tool that helps our body, mind and spirit to connect with the universal energy of well-being. Maybe the soul symbol concept sounds a little complicated initially, but believe me, it is not. However, we have to understand how to use it correctly, like any other tool or technology that benefits our lives. So let's see how the soul symbol works. The soul symbol is a custom-made graphic that we design based on our principles or beliefs. Then we have to charge it with our own energy combined with universal energy to finally use it as a tool as many times as needed for our personal benefit. Let's classify this process under three stages as follows. One, identifying and designing the symbol. Two, energizing or charging the symbol. And three, applying the symbol's power. In the first stage, identifying and designing the symbol, we explore our beliefs and draw a basic graphic that represents those beliefs. To have more clarity, let me give you an example. In one of my classes, I asked my students, what do you believe in? 
What do you think is the generator of life? What gives you strength when you have to face difficult situations? A girl named Anna said, I believe in the power of nature. It is our mother giving us the possibility to born. For me, nature is real. It is touchable. We can experience firsthand the strength of elements, water, air, earth, the sun, the moon. I love the harmony and peace it brings me. So she designed the Mother Nature symbol that we already saw in the previous section, remember? She represented harmony and balance with, with the circle, movement and rhythm with the line of mountains, and life and power with the sun. Another student named Tom said, I believe in God. Even if I can't explain everything about him, deep in my heart, there is a feeling of connection with someone bigger and wiser. I imagine him through the Jesus image because I am Catholic. That belief is what gives me comfort when I need it and makes me feel at home. In his design, he used a square representing his home. The cross represents Jesus or Christianity, and the oval beneath the cross represents the support he feels as the base of his life. Okay. So a third student named Jennifer said, I believe in the power of love. When we do things with love, everything goes right. I also believe in God, but like one stream of energy sending us love. So she chose two hearts representing love and the interaction among each other. And because love embraces calm, union, forgiveness, kindness, respect, she used the triangle to show all that energy going down to her. At the next section, I will guide you to design your own symbol. But for now, let's see the second stage of the process, which is energizing or charging the symbol through meditation. In this stage, we transfer both our personal energy and universal energy into the symbol and inscribe it in our subconscious self. In the same way that we frequently charge or power our cell phone or computer in order for them to function, we transfer energy to the symbol through a particular meditation which is named Soul Symbol Meditation. The soul symbol meditation is essential because it is the part that gives life to the symbol. While doing the meditation, we experience all the elements represented by our symbol and feel and sense the connection with the universal creative energy. At the end, we record that experience in our subconscious self in the memory of every cell of our body. In this image, we retake the example of Jennifer. During the meditation, she forms a mental picture of her soul symbol and charges the symbol, creating vibrations and emotions related to all aspects behind the graphic, such as love, calm, kindness, God, forgiveness. I will give you more information about meditation later, okay? But for now, let's see the last soul symbol stage. Applying the symbol's power. 
This third part of the process happens every time we bring the symbol to our conscious mind and quickly access the information that is already stored in the depth of our soul, thanks to the meditation. Every time we face a challenging situation that takes us down or gives us fear and insecurity, we bring the soul symbol into our conscious mind and by effect, immediately all the energy inscribed in the symbol comes alive too and starts to vibrate within us. In the same way it did during the soul symbol meditation. Remember, when we are vibrating at the same rhythm of the universe, we link with all the essential aspects of the whole universe. And that essence is always positive. So when we are in tune, thanks to our soul symbol power, our mind gets the needed clarity to bring solutions to problems. We feel positive emotions. Our body feels strong and healthy. And our spirit is capable to tap into higher and wiser information that show us the best way to live. Okay, I hope this gave you the overview of how soul symbol works. Now enjoy the rest of the sections that will allow you to create your own symbol and experience the force of creation flowing through you. To conclude this lesson, let's say, so symbol is a powerful tool to access the whole positive spectrum of our universal essence. But in order to use this tool, we have to design it, energize it, and apply it. Identifying your soul symbol. To create your soul symbol, remember that it has to be a simple design representing yourself in relationship with the whole universe. It will be your own beliefs, your own feelings, your own creation. Keep in mind that when you are making something for yourself, there is no correct or incorrect way of doing it. Nobody is judging. You are free to craft. In fact, this is the time to be completely honest with yourself and allow the truth of the universe to vibrate unobstructed within you. Try to find a quiet place where you can be alone and concentrate on your thoughts. Have a blank paper and pencil available. If you want to play smooth music, which can help you with concentration, it would be great. If you don't have it, don't worry, just relax. Please follow the instructions. After going to, through each instruction, I will tell you where to pause or stop the video. This way you have the necessary time to do the assignment until you feel okay to continue with the next extra instruction. The recommended time to complete the assignments is between 3 and 8 minutes, but please take more or less time as needed. So let's go with instruction 1. Choose your beliefs. Read these questions carefully. What or who do you believe in? What or who do you think is the giver of life? What or who do you think gives you spiritual strength? Write down as many answers as come to your mind, even if you think they are irrelevant, senseless, or unrelated with the subject. At this moment, don't worry about the design or anything that doesn't have to do only with brainstorming your concept. Think whether your beliefs describe a person, a representation of someone, an energy or force 
or maybe something unknown. If you are not sure about your beliefs, try to imagine those things you will love to see as your strengths. You can even choose yourself as the subject of your idea. Now pause the video and you may take up to five minutes to complete this assignment. After brainstorming, I hope you gather a few ideas. Now please choose three of those ideas representing your beliefs best. You may combine two or more ideas and synthesize them into one. Pause the video and you may take up to three minutes to complete this assignment. Now that you have your three main beliefs, let's continue with instruction two. Attribute your beliefs. Write at least six qualities, characteristics, or phrases that describe your beliefs. It is very helpful to use descriptive or quantitative adjectives. You may also add emotions or feelings that your beliefs make you experience. The dictionary is a useful resource for finding positive words and meanings. Pause the video and you may take up to five minutes to complete this assignment. Now that you have the list of attributes, let's continue with instruction three. Define your beliefs. From that list of attributes, choose just three that describe the better or the best of your beliefs and name them as attribute A, attribute B, and attribute C. Remember, if you have a group of attributes that represent almost the same or are synonymous, try to use the word that fits the best. Pause the video and you may take up to three minutes to complete this assignment. I hope to name the attributes A, B, and C was easy for you because the recognition and description of your beliefs is the first step to connect with the energy of creation. And now that you have identified your beliefs, it is time to have fun with the designing section. Designing your soul symbol. If you have artistic abilities, this section will be simple. However, if art is not your strength, don't worry. Remember that this course is not necessarily an artistic challenge, but more an opportunity to elevate your soul. So give yourself a chance to discover the creative nature that dwells in every universal being, that dwells within you. Instruction 1. Choose your graphics. You are going to use brainstorming again. However, this time you will play with shapes, lines and forms. Some of these examples may be used, but I encourage you to believe in your own creativity. Activate your imagination. Bring attribute A and draw some shapes that may represent this attribute best. Allow whatever your mind brings, what your heart tells. In the end, choose only the shape that feels right. You also may combine two or three shapes and create a new one. And as soon as you feel comfortable, name it Graphic A. Pause the video and you may take up to five minutes to complete this assignment. Then bring Attribute B and draw some shapes that may represent this attribute best. 
Concentrate in what your mind brings, what your heart tells. In the end, choose only the shape that you feel is the right one. As soon as you like one shape, name it Graphic B. Pause the video and you may take up to 5 minutes to complete this assignment. Now bring attribute C and draw some shapes that may represent this attribute list. Concentrate on what your mind brings, what your heart tells. In the end, choose only the shape that feels right and name it Graphic C. Pause the video and you may take up to 5 minutes to complete this assignment. At this point, you have to have three shapes that represent the attributes better. So let's continue with instruction two. Combine your graphics. Bring together graphic A, B, and C and play around with them. Integrate all elements in a harmonic and proportionate composition. Put them in different positions, as many times as you want, until you get the design that makes you feel good. You may change sizes, thickness, and even some little parts of each graphic. Also, if you want to repeat one of the graphics, for example, your graphic A is a circle. And in your design, there is room for few circles, but it's okay. Or if you need to add a shape that will give a harmonic and pretty touch to your design, it is okay too. Try to keep the design process simple. Remember, the symbol doesn't have to be anything fancy, but definitely it has to mean something for you. So pause the video and you may take up to 8 minutes to complete this assignment. You already have sketched your symbol. Now it is time to finish it. Instruction 3. Define your symbol. Designing is an exciting experience but also an endless one. You may keep playing around with the graphics and there will always be another idea coming. This is why after you spend a good time sketching your symbol, now is the moment to define which one you like. And I want to repeat, select the one that makes you feel the best. As soon as you define your symbol, redraw it on a clean sheet of paper. Touch it up, erase some unwanted pencil marks, make it look pretty. When you have it ready, try to outline it with a black marker or if you wish, use color. If you want to go further, you may redo it in any painting or design computer program. But definitely it is not necessary. As far as you have a clear symbol image, and you are okay with it, it will be enough. So pause the video and you may take up to 5 minutes to complete this assignment. Okay, I hope you made it to this part and you have the design of your soul symbol and clarity of what it represents. What is behind that symbol? your beliefs and attributes of your beliefs. So finally, you have a personal trademark that identifies you as a special and unique part of the universe. Okay, you already have defined your beliefs. You have designed your soul symbol. And now it is time to give life to those two elements. To actually energize or charge the symbol with your own energy and the universal energy combined. 
as I explained in section 3. And how you do that? Well, experiencing, sensing, and feeling the energy of your soul symbol through meditation. With the soul symbol meditation, you will make your whole being vibrating positive frequencies, which is the key to open a connection with the rest of the universe. In the same way that we set a radio device on a specific frequency that matches the radio station we want to listen to, with this meditation, you will tune the universal station right for you. In soul symbol meditation, we don't have to empty the mind or put it in blank as many other techniques. By contrast, I will guide you to visualize and play with your imagination, making the process easier and smoother. Allow yourself to feel and think freely. Remember, no one is judging. So go ahead and enjoy the soul symbol meditation. Remember to choose a quiet and comfortable place to do it. Good luck. Hello. Welcome to soul symbol meditation. I hope you feel comfortable. So let's begin. Breathe in deeply through the nose and breathe out slowly through the mouth. Relax and breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Feel your presence your now. Just relax. Picture yourself standing up in front of a door. Choose what, what kind of door do you want? What material? Wood? Metal? Now, let's think that your finger, your index, is like a paintbrush and you're going to draw your soul symbol in that door, shade by shade, every line, every form. Now that you have your symbol in the door, open it and step into a beautiful place. In front of you there is a pathway. You start to walk. In your right side, imagine a field of flowers. What kind of flowers do you like? What colors do you see? It's a big field. All those flowers moving with the wind. You feel the sensation of movement, of freedom. In your left, you look another feel that this time is full of herbs. Maybe lavender, rosemary, mint. All those beautiful plants bring a 
problems ascend. Smells good. And with the wind, those aromas fly all over the place. Keep walking a little more. And you're going to see a stream of water from one side to the other, running very gently. You can hear the sound of the water breaking in the stone. You also can see the clarity of the water and the fishes just moving and going with the flow. Over that water of, of, of the stream, There is a bridge. How do you want to see that bridge? It's made of wood, stone, metal. Keep walking and go over the bridge until you reach the other side. Now you keep walking and you see in each side different kinds of trees. Beautiful, that move with the wind. Maybe some eucalyptus that brings a very nice Keep walking in that pathway and now you will find a big, big sand circle in the ground with the border in the stone. In the middle of that circle there is a bench. What kind of bench do you want? A wood one, or maybe a metal one, or stone. Go and sit in that bench, facing the horizon in front of you. That beautiful horizon, shaped by the mountains in the distance. If you look up to the sky, in your right side, you may see the sun shining, and you feel warm, a good environment. You see some birds flying, you hear them passing. In your left side in the sky, you see the full moon, bright. Surrounded by millions of stars, colors, beautiful colors fulfill that horizon.
like a magical place where nature is around you. Now bring your attention to yourself. Just feel your present and your now. Take your hands, your both palms, one in front of the other one, leaving a space of two or three inches between them. Put your attention in the middle and feel your energy moving from one palm to the other one. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Now, start to move your palms in circle, keeping the distance between them. And feel like a bubble of energy. Just imagine that you are creating a medium sphere that you may hold. It's a beautiful circle of energy moving. Now I want for you to go inside that sphere and draw again your soul symbol. Every element, every shape, every line. Remember why you design your soul symbol. Which ones were your beliefs? Bring any image that your beliefs bring to you and put them in the sphere with your soul symbol. Do you believe in someone? In something? What is it that gives you power and peace and put it just right there with your soul symbol? The sphere and the energy moves inside. Take a little time to feel. Now, let's go to the field of flowers and allow the stream of energy of those flowers and those colors to come flying and go inside the sphere, mixing with the energy of your soul symbol and your beliefs. Then go to the field of herbs and bring the stream of energy of all those plants, all those frequencies inside the sphere. Then 
allowed all the power of the water, of that beautiful element of life, to come inside this fear and mix with all that energy. You see colors. allow that string to go into your neck and your head, moving in circle, rhythmically and softly, and then going down to your chest, to your belly. your reproductive area, and then allow that stream of energy to wrap the upper part of your legs, and continue down, down, until it reaches your feet. Breathe in deeply, breathe out slowly, all the energy of the universe, the creative energy, the light that gives birth to everything that exists. It's resonating inside your whole being. You are a being of energy, connected with the power of creation. You act as radiant antenna to the universe. And you connect yourself with the whole spectrum of positive aspects that it broadcast constantly. All that energy of nature combined with the whole spectrum 
spectrum of the universe is flowing through you right now. Bringing you understanding of who you are, where are you going, where are you going from. It gives you the truth. It makes you aware. It shows you what pathway is the right for you to walk. This energy gives you the capacity to speak positive, to be constructive with your words. It gives you the capacity to interact with others in a good way. It gives you the creativity to bring solutions every time that you have to face a difficult situation. That energy that is flowing within you brings you peace, calm, tranquility, because that is your essence. That happiness inside you that makes you enjoy simple things in life and give you sense in everything that you do. That energy of well-being that brings the right information and the raw material for your body to be healthy. Every single cell work in coordination, in rhythm, bringing you health, energy, vitality, perfection, and beauty. Your whole being is vibrating with harmony and balance because that is your essence since the day you were born. You want to experience again. You want to feel it, to sense it. Because you want a life of prosperity and abundance, fulfillment. And you want to walk through your life with the strength, with bravery. That no matter what happened, if for any reason you fall or you have to face any hard situation, you're going to be able to stand up and continue with wisdom, with faith in your belief. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out the slowly. Just feel the moment and allow all that beautiful light of creation to be part of you. Now again, with your finger, like a paintbrush, I want you to go to your forehead and paint again your soul symbol. Delight every element of it, every shape, 
every line, every form, remembering what it means each element. You are charging your symbol. You are allowing all that power of the universe, the power of yourself, the power of nature to flow through you and be engraved in your soul symbol in your mind. Every time that you bring to your conscious mind that symbol, it's going to bring also all that energy that you are experiencing right now. That is your innate state. Your essence. Your reality. Breathe in deeply, breathe out slowly. Now, stand up from the bench and walk back, reaching the pathway. Start to walk back to the bridge. Go over. Keep walking in the pathway until you are again in front of the door. Look back for a moment and take like a mind picture of, the, of, of this beautiful place, this magical sight that embraces your soul symbol, that reminds all the energy of who you are. And now, go out through the door, close the door again, and see your soul symbol drawn just right there, like you did it in the beginning. Breathe in deeply. Breathe out slowly. Just feel how you calm down again to your place. open your eyes. Uh, after doing your soul symbol meditation, there are two possibilities. One, you were able to concentrate and feel good and you're ready to do it again. And that is great. On the contrary, maybe it was not so good. Concentration was difficult and you didn't sense anything. Again, please don't worry. Remember that to gain positive results, you need practice, like any other skill. Don't lose faith in your capacity to connect with the power of the universe. That is a natural and innate ability you have since the day you were born. And maybe it is sleeping within you, but you only have to wake it up. 
So try this old symbol meditation again, but the next time you plan to do it, answer these questions first. Was the environment I chose to do the meditation quiet and comfortable enough? Do I need to find a better place? Did I make my best effort to relax and put myself in the present moment, in the now? Did I allow my being to let go and flow with the meditation? If you think some changes can be made, do it. I am sure this time the experience will be different. So the soul symbol meditation, uh, you can do it at least two or three times a week. Keeping in mind that it is more important to have quality than quantity. Practice for the necessary time until you are comfortable with it. And what exactly means being comfortable with it? Well, first, that you are capable of relaxing and concentrating. Second, that you experience the universal energy flowing through your soul. And third, that after the meditation, you feel inner peace and connected with life. Now, we can use another feature with our soul symbol, which will be the subject of another course, but I want to give you like an overview of it. The more we train ourselves with soul symbol meditation, the more the link between the graphic and the universal energy of well-being behind it gets stronger. Let's say you um, already charge your symbol during the meditation. And later in the week, you face a problem or difficult situation at home or work. If in that exact moment, Instead of getting upset or stressed, you take a deep breath and bring the soul symbol into your conscious mind. The rest of the energy attached to the graphic will immediately come to you by default. This process will make you capable of facing the situation calmly and open your mind to bring creative and constructive solutions to the problem. Try it, but remember, it has to be after you become more skillful in soul symbol meditation. To conclude this section, let me say that soul symbol efficiency is based on practice and how we apply the process. Therefore, if we do it right, the benefits will be noticed very soon. I would like to close by saying that the universe always responds to our good intentions, but we cannot tell the universe when or how it should respond. If we trust in the power of creation, in the power of our beliefs, in the power of our soul symbol, it is just a matter of time that results will come. We are the highest technology of this planet. We are amazing creatures with unbelievable capacities, but we have to keep exploring our attributes and mastering our performance. Using the soul symbol is only one part of all the potential we humans have to keep our energies connected to the universal frequencies of well-being. So if you want to explore your soul symbol deeper, I gladly will work with you please feel free to contact me. Finally, always remember, you are a unique being with unique capacities, unique emotions and unique experiences, but more than anything, with a unique connection with the power of life. So it is in your hands to get in tune or out of tune from that source of life. Good luck. Thank you so much for your participation and keep moving positive energy.